Hey guys, here we go into a video on Naoya Inoue versus Emmanuel Rodriguez. And this video is going to go over all of the film, and I'll do my prediction at the end, but um, you'll probably be able to guess what it is uh, just a few seconds in. Um, but the winner of this fight is very likely going to be the winner of the Boxing Super Series. Um, I think that Noni Donaire has a chance to beat either of these fighters. Um, and I'm not sure who I would pick, but, you know, he's a little a little older and, you know, I don't know. I'd have to do film study to be to be really serious or really sure. But um, anyway, getting back to the fight uh, at hand, um, this is going to be a very, very, very interesting fight because Naomi Inoue has never really been tested. You know, he's only fought people who are afraid of his power um, or people like the guy that we're going to be doing the film study on. I don't even know his name, Boyer or something. I don't know how to say it. But anyway, let's get into the film study and kind of talk about what I want to show you. Now, the first thing, right, this is Nayonya Inoue's, like, most basic feint, right? But uh, notice how he steps with his feint as well. This is very, very, very important, you guys. Um, sorry, I got a message. But, um fainting like that but look at his guard right look at how static he is with his guard a little bit of moving right there and his opponent tries to figure out whether he's going to do that move again but um the part that i want to focus on and this is the real big part right is that he steps with his jab right and it's the same way that he stepped with his feint right oops right stepping and kind of taking that that little angle down but um, not really an active guard, not a lot going on with him. And notice how easily his opponent is able to time him, boom, with that jab, even though he gets caught too, right? But this guy's not like a super high level guy. I think he's 40 wins and four losses. But if you look at him, he looks like he's, you know, he hasn't really ever fought before, you know, not like, I mean, this body type, you know, he's not like a, a super sharp guy, you know, but, um, you know, Nayun Yue is some decent defense there. But again, when he starts throwing punches, stepping with his shots. And this guy's not moving super well, but he's still able to get out of the way of a lot of these shots. And I'm, I'm not, it's not lost on me that Nayun Inoue knocks this guy out, right? But um, one of the flaws that Nayun Inoue has is that he, con he constantly steps with his punches. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't know how to step, he doesn't know how to punch without stepping. Um, and I kind of wanted to show a little bit of that here, you know. But getting back to his active guard, you know, a little bit of rolling there, right? But look at how he responds to these punches, right? Just kind of eats them, you know. And I'm not sure why, if it's a, a product of his opponent's power, right? But then when he does attack, again, stepping hard with his shot, his opponent's able to get away from that shot. He eats the second left hook, right? But um, but not not showing a lot of versatility, right? And that's like one of the biggest problems for a lot of fighters is that when, when a fighter does one thing really well, they kind of just stick to doing that. And I think for Nayonya Inoue, that's something that he's been he's been doing throughout his career. Look, even as he's fainting, right? Faint, step with the jab, faint, step with the jab. And that part's good, right? But he's always stepping with his shots. He doesn't know how to set his shots up without stepping. And then again, when his opponent starts throwing punches at him, he just kind of eats them. You know, he has his guard up, and he just kind of ate those shots for no reason. You know, but again, not a very active guard, and not very, like, active in setting up his shots, in spite of the fact that he does crush this guy. But you can see his opponent trying to time him, right? Not doing a great job, again, because this guy's not a great fighter. You know, nothing against him. But but again, Naonya Inoue always stepping with his shots, constantly moving in range. Even when he fires the right hand, as we see here, stepping, landing the right hand on the body, but eating the left hook counter. I'm not sure if he eats it, you know, but it was timed well enough. Actually, it wasn't even, it looks like he was just controlling him. But um, not a lot of feints, right? Notice that this was one of the first ones we see in a while where he slips down. And again, look at how close he is to his opponent already, and he's still stepping so hard with the jab. You know, now I don't want to talk like about um, Naomi Inoue like he's not dangerous, right? Like this this shot right here, that's a good shot. You know, catches him on the top of the head, knocks him off balance. Um, but always stepping with his punches. Again, 
even when he's that close, even when he's this close, right? <sighs> stepping before he shoots that right hand. Now there's like a little bit of a feint, right? Because he's been stepping with the jab as he lets his, his lead hand go. But look at how his defense, look at what his defense looks like at this point. Terrible, right? His hands aren't up. He's not even moving his head off the line. There's not a lot going on in terms of like responsible defense, not a, a lot going on in terms of his active guard. There's not a lot going on in terms of his layers for his offense, no layers for his defense. You know, there's just not a lot going on. And then in steps Emmanuel Rodriguez, who is actually a pretty phenomenal fighter, you guys. Now, look at this 15 seconds into the fight, right, with his opponent. His opponent steps with his jab, he pull counters the jab, and then throws a right hand over the top, and then a left hook to the body. That's 15 seconds into the fight with a guy he's never seen before. Fainting. And look at the active guard on his opponent right here. Look at how much how active he is giving different looks, how many how many weight transitions he's he's making per second, right? Doing bouncing forward, right? And uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez is still able to time him with that right hand over the top, right? Pull counter away, right hand, it kind of misses. He does eat that counter, which is bad, right? We'll talk about that later. Comes back with the left hook, but um, great defense right here, right? His opponent starts coming forward, he covers up, right? Gets under the hook, and then circles and move off the line. That's going to be very effective against Inoue, someone who kind of fights in straight lines, um, doesn't have a lot of movement. Um, and again, you know, one minute into the round, that jab coming, he kind of eats it, misses his counter, but then follows up with the left hook. Let's not focus on the fact that he's missing and getting hit yet. Not yet. But um, again, he starts making an adjustment a minute into the fight. When that shot comes... Whoops. He takes a step back with it as well, and he starts getting a little closer with his shots. And the, the, the idea here is that we want to focus on the fact that his opponent is not setting his punches up super well either, and also steps with his punches, just like Nyonya anyway, right? And it makes it very easy for him to time. And towards the end of the fight, boom, again, towards the end of the rounds, or the second round, um, he really starts to pick it up. As you see here, showing versatility and going, slipping the jab on the on his opponent's way in and going to the body, tying him up, which is great. And this time I wanted to show like a little bit of his active guard, you know, and this is fantastic boxing, right? Coming forward, not afraid to transition his weight to his front foot, right? As he walks forward, slipping, slipping, trying to time his opponent. And then off of that slip, right? Slip, slip, boom. He's able to hide his punches, his offense there too. And again, hiding his offense here makes it a little more tricky as he's constantly stepping and leaning on his front foot. It allows him to lean into his jab and throw that shot really easily. And then actually some great work towards the end of the round. S steps with the jab and he starts actually starting to connect with his counters. Um, but you can see that that this is a style that Emmanuel Rodriguez is already familiar with. Great slip there. Go to the body with the right hand, then the left hook to the head, and then just keeps going. Land some great shots right there. Um, and it appears that Emmanuel Rodriguez is already primed to fight a fighter like Naomi Inoue, this fighter. Great work right there. Great control right there. Like getting under the shot when it comes, slipping to the inside, controlling his opponent here. Misses that shot by a mile. Um, showing a lot of really high-level skills. It, it makes me feel like he has a great chance in this fight. And then the second round comes, and Rodriguez starts timing um, his opponent on his front foot and his step. Now, I do want to point out another thing real quick. Just watch the opponent real quick. Okay? Slipping to the inside, slipping to the inside. Very active guard, right? Constantly giving his opponent different looks, kind of Canelo-esque like. Even though he gets hit here, Emmanuel Rodriguez gets hit here, right? Timing that jab when his opponent steps very well. Now, 
Now, you know, anyway, might have a lot of success going to the body as well, because as we see, the counters, right, and the head movement makes it a little difficult for Emmanuel Rodriguez. Um, but Nyonya anyway, as we've seen, doesn't have a lot of head movement when he punches. Again, doing a great job with the counters, right? Stepping with the shot, he catches him with a left hook. And then this this scene right here, timing his opponent stepping here, catches him with a one, two, and a three shot. All off of the, the timing that he steps with his punches, right? Just really great work from Emmanuel Rodriguez. Boom, boom, boom. Now, some of the problems that I think Rodriguez is going to have in this fight are that he likes to do stuff like this. Not this one. But stay on the line with his opponent sometimes and throw punches. As you see... Wait, well, that was actually a really good one. Let's take a look at that again. As he picks up the timing. Great pull counter. But look at how he stays on the line with his opponent here. Even though he does a good job of stopping the shot, the next shot that comes, and then going to the body, he winds up eating a left hook. And I think this is exactly where he does not want to be with Nyonya anyway. Um, staying on the line and, and not, I don't want to say eating punches, but trading punches with him. Because Nyonya anyway is just much too dangerous for that, that style of fight um, to be effective for Emmanuel, uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez. And then again, another really great shot here. Um, going over the top of the jab, right? Picking up the timing even better, going to the body again, even though the body shot doesn't land. But again, let's talk a little bit about Rodriguez's active guard as he slips that jab right there. Boom, it goes over the top with it, right? And that's because he has an active guard and he's constantly in motion, transitioning his weight, being able to put himself into position um, at every beat to throw another punch, you know? But I don't like scenes like this where he stays on the line with, with his opponent. Even though he does a good job here of controlling him with the left hand and then throwing a shot, a little excessive. There are scenes like this, boom, where he just starts eating shots, kind of for no reason. Boom, and I think they both wind up getting hit with left hooks there. Um, now, the interesting thing about this fight is that, number one, nobody knows anything about Emmanuel Rodriguez, right? Um, but... But we also don't know anything really about Nyonya Inoue. He's kind of smashed everyone he's ever fought, you know. And whether that be because he has had kind of weak competition or competition overseas and he just hasn't had to show that level, you know. But for some reason, with only 17 fights, he's on a lot of people's pound-for-pound -pound lists. And to me, it's just kind of mind-boggling um, because of the fact that he seems to have so many flaws and I'm just going to go ahead and play the video for you guys if you want to keep watching. But um, it's interesting because he doesn't have an active guard. He doesn't hide his punches well. He's re he's not even reactive with his defense when his opponents are throwing punches at him. Um, I think he just kind of expects not to be getting hit or I'm not sure what. Even though he's he's e he's obviously easy to time. Um, right. But I'm not sure where where people are getting the idea that he's pound for pound so far in his career with how little we've seen of him and that makes me think that he that emmanuel rodriguez has a really good chance uh, of winning the fight and it doesn't make a lot of sense to me why he is a plus 600 underdog and naomi Inoue is a minus 800 favorite uh, i would say that if you're a betting man that it's probably a pretty good bet um but I'm not sure who's going to win. Um, I think that the all of the a lot of the initial engagements are going to favor um, Emmanuel Rodriguez as Nyonya Inoue is very limited in the way that he comes forward and he always steps with his punches. But Emmanuel Rodriguez likes to stay on the line with his opponents, and that's very dangerous with a with a huge puncher like Naomi Inoue. And I don't, I don't, obviously, I don't think that Emmanuel Rodriguez has fought anyone like with the power of, um, with the power of Naomi Inoue. But I also think like this fighter right here that Emmanuel Rodriguez is fighting, I think that he's probably better than anyone that Naomi Inoue has fought, and Rodriguez kind of dominates him. Um, 
you know, lands a lot of great shots. And when I say dominate, you know, I think he wins the thinking game. You know, he has his opponent doing a lot of things probably that they're not necessarily good at or that they're trying. And maybe sometimes that comes across well against Rodriguez because he's not expecting them to do things they're not good at either. But you can see that Rodriguez is, is a real fighter. He's really talented. Um, and the the initial engagements appear to like they're going to a favor uh, Rodriguez. Um, and because of that reason... And I don't know how much power he actually has because he lands some pretty some pretty good shots against uh, is this opponent here. And I'm not sure if he gets the stoppage, but um, but um, I'm gonna go with Emmanuel Rodriguez. But I wouldn't be surprised if he got knocked out, you know. But I think the skills department massively favor uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez. But one. The one flaw that he has is staying on the line with his opponent, and I think that that could be a big problem with the power that Naomi Inoue has. But um, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and um, stay tuned, you guys. I have some really, really exciting stuff coming through um, that I'm working on. That's why I haven't been posting videos as much. Uh, and once that you know kind of rolls out, I'll have a few more, a little more content. But um, anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comments. And let me know what your pick is for this fight. And uh, also in the comments, if you see if in the comments, um, let me know what breakdown you want to see next for the next fight. Um, preferably like closer than late, like sooner than later, whatever the fight is. But um, if you see a fight in the comments that you want me to uh, to cover, just thumb that one up. And then the one that has the most thumbs up, I'll try to do that video next. All right. Thanks, guys.